Hello, welcome to Maths with J. We are looking to find the general solution of this equation and we can see that it's going to be in degrees because of the 15 degrees, that makes it, uh, it clear. So let's start off by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So we know that the cosine of 3x minus 15 is going to be equal to a half. So 3x minus 15 must be the angle whose cosine is a half. Let's just, we could write down um, the first angle. Let's just um, do a quick sketch of the cosine graph. So we know the cosine graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. I'm just taking it up to 360 there and a little way, same sort of thing on this side, so minus 360 there. And we can see that we're interested in values. Of course, that's one up there. This must be a half in here. We've got one value here, one here, one here, and so on. These are the, the basic values. So the easiest thing to do here is to say that the angle 3x minus 15 is either 60 degrees or minus 60 degrees. We could also have taken 300 instead of minus 60 there. And because we want the general solution, we know that to get all the other solutions, we need to add on a multiple of 360. So we're going to add on 360 n degrees. And there n is an integer. So it could be 2, 3, 9, 0, negative 1, whatever. So this covers all the possible solutions. Um, so we just need to uh, make x the subject now. Let's, um, let's start by dividing by 3. So we've got that x minus 5 is equal to, and let's swap this around, so we've got the 360 divided by 3 first, so that's 120n. And then dividing the plus or minus 60 by 3, we get plus or minus 20. So we've just divided the whole thing through by 3. And then we're going to add on 5 to both sides. So x is going to be, we've still got the 120n. And then the plus 20 plus 5 gives us plus 25. And similarly, Looking at the adding 5 onto minus 20, we get minus 15 degrees there. So that's the answer to the question. You might like to check. So for example, you could check n is 0 would be a good one to start with, wouldn't it? So if you're checking n is 0, you would be checking that x equals 25 and x equals negative 15 give the correct solutions and then check a, um, another value for n, maybe n equals 3. So when n is 3 we're going to get 120 times 3 plus 25 so that would be um, 385 and then we would take 15 away, find the cosine, double it and hopefully you get 1 and similarly you would um, do the same sort of thing for the 120n minus 15.